Hello everyone, and welcome to another tutorial. Today we're going to explore how to achieve a cinematic film look in Adobe Premiere Pro. First and foremost, let's talk about color grading. It's a crucial step in creating that timeless film appearance. Depending on your footage's exposure, you'll need to make adjustments under basic corrections. The key tweak for the film look is reducing contrast, giving it that slightly faded, less contrasty appearance. To reintroduce some contrast, we'll create a standard S-curve. This adjustment will bring life back to the image. With the curve settled, let's move on to the color wheels. Add a touch of blue to the shadows and mid-tones and introduce some yellowish tones to the highlights. This subtle alteration gives your footage that cinematic charm. Now, let's add a film grain overlay. You can find these overlays for free on platforms like YouTube. Download one that suits your style, then simply drag and rotate it to align with your footage. Change the blend mode to Overlay, and you've instantly added that film-like texture. Moving on, let's add the mist effect, also known as film halation, to highlight areas. Duplicate your footage, Apply a Luma Key effect to select only the highlights. And add a Gaussian Blur with settings of 250 blurriness and Lighten Blend Mode. This trick enhances the ethereal quality of your highlights. For that finishing touch, consider adding a subtle vignette to your footage using the vignette panel. The degree of vignetting can be adjusted to your preference. Remember, while these are post-production techniques, lighting during your shoot is equally vital. Creating contrast with well-lit and shadowy areas in your scenes provides a foundation for the cinematic look. Stable shots are also crucial so consider using a gimbal or keeping your camera steady. Lastly, don't underestimate the power of a shallow depth of field to achieve that cinematic aesthetic. By combining these editing techniques and mindful shooting, you'll be well on your way to capturing the essence of the film, look in your videos. Thank you for watching, and I hope this tutorial helps you elevate your filmmaking game. If you have any questions or need more guidance, please feel free to ask.